Hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. Uh, I've got a little project on today. It's uh, pretty straightforward actually. I've got 16 of these little things to, to machine up. I'm just going to face them off on both sides and then I've got to put a hole through the middle. Uh, it's going to be 15 and a half millimetre diameter. So if I haven't got a 15 and a half mil drill, I'll drill them, I'll drill them through to about 15 mil and then I'll just run a very small boring bar through. Uh, I'll just do them one after another like a production line. So follow me in the next few steps and see how we get on with this job. But in the meantime, if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and share. Okay, and look back at some other videos in the past as well. All right, see you in the next couple of frames. As you can see, the soft jaws have a step in them. Uh, you can see this step here. Uh, this allows me to put the bush in to a certain distance on each one so that I can then machine them to exactly the same size. Okay, that's uh, the, uh, the good thing about soft jaws is that you can machine them to suit whatever piece of work you're working on. So the first thing I need to do is to just uh, clean up the face of these. Obviously these, uh, well, what you, what you could call them spigots, I suppose, have just been cut off on a, on a saw. So I need to clean up each end uh, just, to, just to clean them so that uh, there's a nice smooth face on each end of them. So I'll just do that quickly. I'll, I'll do another one. Uh, I'm just doing one end at the moment on all of them and then I can reset the tool to at the same distance and do each one individually uh, so they'll all be exactly the same length. Uh, this one initially, uh, the back edge of it was just didn't quite clean up properly. So just put a little bit more of a cut on it, just a, a, you know, just a few microns uh, or a couple of thousandths of an inch just to, to make sure it cleans up. And then the rest of them, they'll all be cut uh, to the same size, basically, uh, until such time as I turn them round and do the other end, which is what I'm about to do now. So now I'll just put a chamfer on, on the front, well, on, on the edge of them. Uh, luckily, they're, because they're in the, in the step jaw, uh, every time I turn them round and machine them, uh, they're all on exactly the same length. So I can just run the tool into a stop and get the same chamfer on each end of the, of the spigot. The next stage is just to put a centre drill in, uh, just so that uh, I can then proceed to drill, uh, drill through the spigot itself. So I'll just put this centre drill in. Uh, it doesn't need to go in very far. It's no specific depth or anything like that. It's just to give me a start with the drill for when I start drilling. So now, as you can see, I'm putting a drill uh, through the spigot itself. I'll use a 12 millimetre drill initially, basically because uh, if I used anything much bigger than that, it's a lot of pressure on the machine and on the, the, the drill itself. As you can see, I'm running coolant over this anyway, so, because it does get quite quite hot. Sorry, my voice went a little bit then. Uh, anyway, we'll just carry on. Um, and I'll just drill this through. Once I've gone right through, then uh, I can start on making the hole a little bit bigger. So now I'll just put a 15 millimetre drill through uh, to take me to obviously 15 millimetre diameter hole. Uh, once I've got this hole in here then uh, it's pretty accurate actually. I measured the drill afterwards and, uh, and it turned out to be quite, uh, quite accurate. So yeah that's, that's not too bad now. So now basically the, the final step is uh, just to run the boring bar through. Uh, I'll measure this once I've got, uh, got a size on it 
uh, just to make sure we go to 15 and a half millimeter di uh, well, bore, really, not a diameter. It is a diameter, but uh, it's normally called a bore, so, uh, which is obviously the internal diameter, as opposed to an external diameter. So uh, I'll just, uh, what I've done, I've, I've got cut through and then reverse the, the machine, well, reverse the feed on the machine. I'll just check that with a bore gauge or a telescopic bore gauge, and that should be fine. That seems to be okay. So I'll just put another one in just to make sure that everything's okay. And I'll run another one through. I have speeded this section up a little bit just so that you could see the procedure uh, without uh, without getting bored with it, basically. It's boring, uh, boring, a whole, boring in two ways. It can be boring because it's boring a hole and it's also boring slightly because it's taking a long time. But uh, say I have speeded it up slightly just so that uh, or well, not speeded the machine up, but I speeded the video up. So uh, that's looking not looking too bad though. It's uh, come out to the right diameter and uh, I'm sure it'll be adequate for what it's meant for. So now the final stage is just to break the edge basically, uh, or the sharp edge on the hole itself. So. Again, because I'm I'm setting this up in the uh, soft jaws of the of the chuck, uh, I can just reverse and then just run the machine in, or the tool in to a stop on each one. Hence, the chamfer on the inside of the the bore will literally all be the same on every one. So I don't have to measure anything as such. I just uh, keep putting them in and turning. I turn them round each time. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's machining quite nicely, actually. Putting a nice little chamfer on the inside of the hole, or on the leading edge of the hole, just so that uh, nobody's going to cut their fingers on it. So, Because uh, obviously, once you've drilled a hole and bored it, uh, you end up with a very sharp edge. So this is just to break the edge, and so that it looks a little bit neater as well. Well, there you go. Nice little job. Turned out fine in the end. Wasn't too difficult. Uh, took a bit of time because obviously it's so repetitive. Um, <laughs> slightly boring. I hope you did. I didn't bore you too much with it. But uh, there you go. 16 of these little babies all done, ready to go back to the back to the client. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Look out for more videos in the future. And like I always say, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and share if possible. So in the meantime, uh, I'll bid you a farewell. Goodbye.